Hey y'all, surprise, random flip coming at you. I don't know why, I know why, because this is going to change probably soon. And I was waiting for my dividers and finalizing things. But let's be honest, we never actually finalize our planners. So I wanna get this on camera and I just need something to occupy my mind right now. So this is L. in case you're not familiar. This is a salt wide rings from Foxy Fix. She's amazing. The wide rings is a relatively new thing. I have a pepper on the way because I want the matching set. It has a blind emboss fox and pit bow, white stitch, light pink elastic, and I'm obsessed with her. And this is from Three Glitter Peas, uh, and the charms are made by me. So, let's just get into it because you know I'm a little chatty cat that sometimes. Also, I did not actually fix my camera situation, so the sound might be bad again, and I apologize, but I just haven't gotten a tripod yet, yada, yada, yada. Okay, this is what you see when you open it. I just have, I'm like really into cute animals and stuff. They're all over my planner right now. This is those beloved sequin hearts from Michaels that nobody can find anymore because they were for Valentine's Day. This is from a Daiso package. This is a stamp that we, uh, my friend Allison made into a die cut. This is a little love you ho message from Carrie. This is from Daiso. This is some random twin stars thing. And this is also the same set of stamps and die cuts as that. This is just an image that I found. Um, there are lots of things in my planner that I'm not going to say where they're from because I either found them, made them, or I had friends who make them because I have some really talented girlfriends. So. Just FYI, like this, like Annie wrote for me, basically, because I can't write like that. Actually, this was going to be my front dashboard. I'm clearly feeling a super Asian, but then Annie made me this, and I printed it on this gorgeous, I don't think the camera's picking up on it, but it's an iridescent acetate, and so now there's just like a whole layered thing and more bulk, and I love it, so... This is just the inside of uh, a bandeau planner that I tore the pages out of. And um, a lot of the vellums I make myself now, um, now that I can print on vellum. It's not hard, guys. You literally just print on vellum. And I, the vellum that I bought originally was just the cheapest vellum pack on Amazon. And then since then, I bought some of that iridescent vellum at Hobby Lobby. There is apparently a white plain vellum at Hobby Lobby, which is quite good because, you know, the, the more opaque the vellum, the more vivid the colors, but I haven't, I didn't pick that up yet. This is just that iridescent acetate from Michaels with a lot of doodads, create with pen, Pookie Bear cuties. Um, I have a lot of Korean things, little note from Annie. This is that um, Fox and Pip sparkly paper co collab and I just added my name on it so this is my inbox I'm not going to talk about the functionality stuff because I'm going to do a whole video devoted to functionality and I just made this a brand new inbox page if you're familiar with the getting things done system it's sort of that system and then this I actually just shared this on my stories I think Annie shared this in her, her free it's a free printable from her Facebook group so if you're on there I think it was a Valentine's Day freebie, and it's just, I mean, her handwriting is on point. And I printed it on pale pink vellum that my friend Allison got me. Thanks, girl, thanks. And then I just made a digital vision board collage that I printed and laminated. I'm going to put something here, probably sticky notes, I'm not sure. And then you guys have seen this. So again, I'm not going to go into functionality of inserts. This is purely a deco <laughs> setup video. Um... So my first section is lists, which has a variety of lists. I also have a someday maybe list, which is also part of the GTD system that I will get to later. Vellum from, honestly, I don't even remember. All my vellum, I've said this multiple times, are is from Michaels, Hobby Lobby, Scrapbook.com, CherryOnTop.com, or I printed it myself. Uh, this is just a cute card that I found in my stash when I was decluttering. If you follow me on Insta, you know that I'm midst purging, etc. And I just love it. You can't see, but it's it's metallic. And what a great message. So I just have like cute little more Asian-y things on here. Um, my crush collage, which I redid because <laughs> that's how I de-stress. Um, this is a cute little 
plastic pocket that I found from at Michael's on clearance. I've never seen this before. I have no idea what it's used for. And I just punched holes into it and stuck some cutie things in here. But you know, I love rings because I love that you can put different sizes and textures and shapes, just punch them in and put them anywhere. So I just like the look of that. And this is my project section, which is quite big. Um, and I'll get into that when I talk about my functionality. Isn't this gorgeous? This is actually, this is, you, this camera is not picking up anything, but it's gold from a calligraphy class that my sister and I took a couple years ago. And this was a full page. And I, at the time, was only in a pocket. So I was like, oh, I'm going to save this for something. And then lo and behold, as I was purging, I found it. And I was like, perfect. This fits perfectly in my wide so I have lots of different sheets this is a printable from create with pen that she just released this is a foxy fix secretarial dashboard it's very similar to the last time I just changed out a few bits and pieces um eh. and then this is the same as last time as well this is my nephew Zachary he was student of the week in his kindergarten class and so he had to fill out this adorable little poster and you can't see it but his favorite food is sushi which is ridiculous hashtag silicon valley asian kid and i just printed the photo and this is a pokemon card that he made me i added these stickies these are from daiso um this is a pokemon card he made me so i just laminated it because i told him i would laminate it and stick it in my planner um so that's what i did and i love it because he's adorable uh, this is a folder that I made from a bandeau planner folder and I just cut it down and I just liked it because it said you are so fun. This is in completely non-functional. It is just adding bulk. bulk. I'm not actually carrying anything in it, but it's so cute. So I kept it. This is a sheet of stickers, by the way. And this is a, oh, what's the name? Oh my gosh. He makes Tim Holtz just plasticky um, insert that I punched holes into. I like it because they're really thin. They're similar to the baseball card holders that I put in my pocket. So I just stick them in because it's it's another opportunity for more decoration. This is another clip from Three Glitter Peas. And this is my full year at a glance. I've not actually used this. I do intend on using it with colored dot stickers. I just haven't gotten around to it, to be honest. I keep forgetting about it. Uh, this is the So Much Crafting holiday list. I made that vellum. I get a lot of questions. I made that. This is my Pixel, Life in Pixels mood tracker. Again, I'm not going to go into all this stuff. I have one for fitness as well. And then my perpetual calendar, not perpetual, my full academic year calendar. And this is the same, I believe, from my last slip. I think I just changed some of the bits and pieces inside. But this is my favorite vellum ever. And it's discontinued. It was from scrapbook.com. So I'm, I'm super sad. I'm sad, Betty. This is pictures of some of my planner girlfriends. They're just my girlfriends now. But Annie, Carrie, and Allison. This is another Foxy Fix dashboard. It's the horizontal two slot dashboards, which I really love because I can make little mini vignettes. Um, more deco, obvi. This is amazing holographic acetate from Joann's. I had never been to Joann's before. They actually have a really good paper selection. Well, some of the Joann's do, some of them do not, but the one we went to was amazing. Um, this I get asked a lot. This is also from the Bando Planner, and I just ripped it out because, obviously, I love it. Uh, this Celine is just from a magazine. I just really like the coloring. This is another one of those Tim Holtz um, little insert thingies, and I got these from the Bay Area Planner Girl Meetup. So fun. This is a free February dashboard from, wow, I cannot remember. I will try to link it if I remember below, but I like it because it's marble. It's got the month at a glance. I added that. And then the back has like a mantra, important dates, monthly goals, etc. So I really like the idea. I like monthly dashboards like that. This was a free printable from Carpe Diem. 
And I also really like these currently things. They used to have these in happy planners and I really liked that part of it. This is my routine. I'm again, functional, but I have it all in here and I have this clip here so that I can quickly flip to it when I'm in the midst of planning. Uh, and I also purposely printed it on this side so I can quickly see and make sure that I'm doing everything. These are like, this is a free printable from Paper and Glam. I made this vellum uh, like entirely, like I actually put it together. That's the extent of my graphic design though. That's it. This is finally my daily planner, which, you know, you've seen a million times. Um, and again, I will go into functionality at a later time, but I love it. It does, <laughs> it does obviously add more bulk than a week on four pages, but it's completely worth it because it actually does make me more productive. And then this section is my personal section. So the reason I wasn't going to film a flip was because I'm waiting for the custom dividers from Plan With Char. They are coming this week, I believe. So once I get those, all of these dividers are going to go away. And I'm very excited. And I will film my functionality video after I get those because they are decorative, but they're mostly there for functionality. So my personal section includes a bunch of different things. You know, this pull-out thing where I track any medication besides my daily antidepressants. Uh, these clips are from Little Miss Daisy Rowe. I used to buy from her quite a bit, like two years ago before my hiatus, and I love her clips. I think they're incredibly well-made. They are freaking adorable. This is a little Instagram. So they're right there. This is a picture of me and my second nephew when he was a baby. I found that when I was purging. And since I have my other nephew in here, I should probably have the second one in here as well. This is the home that I made because I was thinking about that other Swiss cross vellum that I love. So this is my monthly. It is the goal tracker, uh, important dates where I track my habits, namely my depression levels and all that stuff. And then I'm still figuring out this page. So that's another thing I, I want to figure out before I film my next video. This is from Oh Joy Planning. It's a UK shop with really cute little girls. That's probably not the right name, but I will try to link it below. And then this is just a weekly section where I track workouts. Uh, and then this in theory is supposed to be menu planning grocery list, but clearly I'm not doing a good job of that. My workouts are happening though. This is a Two Little Bees Annie Plans collab. And then I have my little progress section where I do all my weight training I keep track of, which is fun. And, you know, hot K-pop girl per usual. This is a sticky from GP Sticker Studio, GP Studio Box. And I just love how it perfectly fits that circle. This is a custom dashboard from Pookie Bear Cuties that I just slid into a secretarial dashboard from Foxy Fix. And these are also from Pookie Bear Studios. And I just layered those on there with this sheet of stickers. Um, and then this last session is my reference section, which essentially has passwords, quotes, anything. This has actually become my most useful section because I never had one before. It's not a list book because it's not lists. It's not in exactly a brain dump. It's really a place to put all those little bits and pieces of information that I just don't know where else to put, but I, that I need to randomly reference. So like my Wi-Fi passcode. Yes, some passwords, a jewelry designer that I liked, you know, it's just a place to jot things down like that so I don't forget and they're all in one place. So I actually am really digging the reference section and I just have a bunch of different papers in there. Yeah, that's me <laughs> at Easter. I found that also in my purging and I really liked that. Fox and Pit Bows, um, LP Studio. I just have so much deco in here, guys. And I'm going to apologize right now. There are, in case you haven't noticed, now that I'm pretty much done with my flip, there are a lot of curse words in this planner. And if you're offended, I'm really sorry. Not sure why you're watching because I curse quite a bit in my Insta stories as well. This is just what I like. So sorry if you're offended. You'd never have to watch my videos again. That's fine. Another little tribute to my crush. This is Bunny Plans. Um, bunny plans and that's it oh this keeps moving this is my little Annie stamp whatever thing and then here in the back pocket I just I got this from the little Bay Area meetup as well 
This is Fox and Pip. And then in this pocket, I keep just some cute stickers, a postcard from Florence. These are all my um, text stickers, like canceled and whatever and all that other good stuff. And I just keep that all back here to quickly. Uh, it doesn't add bulk to this part because this is quite thick. Sorry, something just fell. But it is quick and easy to access. And I like keeping those stickers in my planner and not in my bigger sticker collection because I sometimes use them quite a bit. And then the best thing about the salt is that it has a back pocket. So I just have random like GTD reference and then I have extra pages of inserts that I need to add to certain places. I just keep them there just in case. So I remember I have extras and I don't have to reprint necessarily a whole thing. This keeps falling. Yeah, so that's it. This is Elle. I love her. She is my day-to-day -day functional planner. And I do use Betty, and I will maybe film a flip on Betty. I don't know. I haven't decided. It's a little bit more personal slash emotional. So we will see. But that is it, guys. This was quicker. This is purely deco. I hope you enjoyed it. I just wanted to remember this deco before it changes because it will change very, very soon. I love you guys. I hope you're having a great President's Day, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.